Well, Alon Ben Meir is a professor of international relations at New York University. He says when President Obama meets Benjamin Netanyahu, there still won't be any concrete proposals for peace between Israel and the Palestinians. 64% of the American public support Israel. And in an election year, in a campaign year, no president is going to ignore what the American public is, wants and wants to see happen. So he is not going to go into details about what is required, what Israel is going to do. But I think he will be talking in general terms about the need for a two-state solution, about the need to compromise on both sides, about the need to, uh, to end the expansion of settlement. But he will not be able or be willing, for that matter, to draw any specific roadmap as to how to go about to achieve these objectives. Uh, we have to be clear here, you know, when, you, when the Palestinians look at the whole Arab world and see their counterpart rising against their own government, they are asking themselves, why should not we rise against our occupation? And I think this is exactly the rationale behind it. The day of Israeli independence, which the Arab or the Palestinians call the Nakba, is it provided that momentum, gave the, the, the Palestinians the opportunity to demonstrate that they had enough of occupation and they want to bring it to an end. Uh, but I am afraid to say that this is maybe only the beginning. I, I, I'm, I'm very concerned what will happen, say, if in the next week, two or month, instead of 1,000 or 2,000 marching from each, bo each side, um, uh, how about if the 50 or 60 or 100,000 marching from the Syrian side, the, the West Bank, the from, uh, from Lebanon, etc. So this is a major problem for Israel. Israel is going to have to be prepared and, has, and, and better it must be willing to address uh, these issues sooner than later.